All right, check out Hayes Investment Group, Stocks and Cryptocurrency Investing. He wants you guys to know he give out free game on his YouTube channel right there, Neighborhood Stock Guide on Instagram. Cornelius Hayes about to stop marking how to invest your money. You want a one on one? Hit him directly up on Instagram, Cornelius Hayes, running right your screen. So you get it popping to get that your money. And my Cardi B voice, appreciate the love and support. Check him out. Peace. All right, man. Uh, here's why uh, Shakira Richardson was banned from, uh, or maybe banned from the Olympics. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. Everybody showing the channel, man. And, you know, if you don't know, she was, a lot of people saying the best hope for uh, America to medal in, um, in 100 meter. Okay, to win. All right. Um, she ran a 60, 100, 200. Her best is 7.7.20 7 and the 60 and the 20 and 100. Excuse me. 10, 7, 10, 7, 2 and 222. All right, uh, she's only 21 years old, 5'1". Uh, she is uh, on the LSU T Lady Tiger team. She's from Dallas, Texas. They get them dollars in Dallas, Texas. Shout out to Dallas, man. And um, uh, now the report is saying U.S. sprinter Shakira Richardson suspended for a month after positive marijuana uh, test putting the Olympics in doubt. Now, let's see when the Olympics start. Sorry. I lost my whole page to my other screen. Let's see when the Olympics start. Let's see when they start. Hold on. So, now they have much concerns about uh, the Olympics and uh, and doing the Olympics anyway. I was uh, listening to the news the other day, and they said uh, that, you know, they don't want to do the Olympics in Tokyo because only 9% of the population in Tokyo has been vaccinated. So they haven't, they, they, Tokyo really don't even want to do it. So, but right now it started July 23rd through August 8th. So she was suspended yesterday, or let's just say the first a month would take her over the 23 days. Depends on when they actually going, you know, when the race starts, right? Um, Depends on, you know, when they race. They may race the 30th, maybe some qual whatever qualifiers, whatever. But, I mean, you know, like I said, people say, well, it's just weed. It's just marijuana. Did she use CBD? Look, my thing is this, man. If marijuana is an addictive drug, and I'm a, I'm one of the few that believes it's an addictive drug, okay? Um, a lot of people get mad at me for saying this, but I see, I seen, I seen people get strung out over. I seen people become lazy. I see people lose jobs over it, you know what I'm saying? And at the same time, if you at the place of employment and even if you're not high and you crash something, you get hurt, they can deny you benefits and workers count because you got marijuana in your system. Is it, is it time to change that? Uh, yeah, I think it's time to change that at the same time. But, you know, people could say they stop, they stop, but they're strung out over a plant. You got to remember, it's just not a plant. They're doing so many things, putting rat poison in the plant and all of that, you know, my thing is, people say they still doing this over marijuana, and I think I think it's time to change. Where you know, tested for marijuana, it's not a performance enhancing drug. You know, most people don't see it as addictive like cocaine or meth or something like that, but it does have addiction habits because most of the time you're not smoking pure marijuana. That's what you gotta understand. You're not smoking pure marijuana. I've seen young people, you know, fall, drop out of school over it. You know, not go to school, not go to work over it. You know, they put so much stuff in, in the marijuana. You know. It's an addictive. It's, it is an addic addiction. Okay, but they saying Shakira has been suspended for one month after testing positive for marijuana. She says um, she used it in Oregon after finding out uh, about the death of her biological mother. Okay, from a reporter. Her participation in the four by 100 meter relay is unclear. So, uh, so right now she she says she used it, you know, and, and that can be an excuse, just like a performance and uh, performance enhancing PED. That could be an excuse for using it, you know. But does she have a track record of, of being popped in school? May help her or help her break her uh break her case, okay? They may help her break her case if she, you know, because a lot of times I know in college a lot of people popped hot and they kept it under 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 wraps. You didn't have to really expose people, so you know some of those suspensions or whatever that nature, but. It, I think it would boil down to does she have a history in college of, of smoking weed and testing hot? And if she has a history, she's not going to probably run. If she don't have a history, you know. But then again, I find it's funny. A lot of people got mad at her because they went back in her Twitter feeds and said she used racial slurs and um, not racial, yeah, racial slurs, racial slurs and gay slurs and all of this and this, that, and the third. And they saying she unpatriotic and 
you know, they saying that. You know, I was reading the comment section on Black Sports Online on Facebook. Shout out to my brother over there. And they were saying, well, she shouldn't run. And she's not. she don't want to run for the flag. She's not patriotic. It's hard to be patriotic, you know, today after what, what happened in the last calendar year with a lot of people. But at the same time, she's young. She young. You know, a lot of people were judging her. And when I was 21 years old, I made some mistakes, a lot of mistakes. And so did everybody else. People don't like her. What it boiled down to, she got the colorful hair, okay? What it boiled down to, she running with the long nails, and they don't want to represent America. And she finding out the hard way. They going to dig dirt up on her. That's just what, in college, that would have been nothing. They would have, you know, gave her a warning. And the next time, maybe she got a suspension. They would have kept it undisclosed. She's still a kid. You know, you get benefit. You can be on your your parent, parents' benefits till twenty five. So technically, you can still be claimed on taxes at twenty five. She she's still in a way a minor. But guess what? You know, you can't make no mistakes. You have uh, you have some situations going on in other colleges. You know, but you can't make no mistake. What it boiling down to? They don't like her hair. They don't they don't like her 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 nails, and, and they don't want to represent. That's what it boiling down to. And she gave them an opportunity to do this. You know. They're putting up people old tweets and old Facebook posts and Instagram posts. That's that's cowardly. You know, she you know she she need to become a citizen somewhere else and run somewhere else. Then talking about some marijuana. Come on, get out of here. A little weed. Come on, man. As long as she ain't she ain't like Pookie from New Jack City. Who cares? Who cares? And that's messed up, man. They mad cause she beautiful and she running with her fingernails all out and stuff of that nature. And she was on today, the Today Show, and she shall carry, joins us live for an exclusive interview to discuss positive marijuana tests to put her Olympics in limbo. Chanel, thank you. And Shakari Richardson joins us now. Good morning, Shakari. I just want to ask a simple question first. How are you doing? Um, I'm blessed to be alive. That's about it. <laughs> This is not easy. This is a hard moment that you're in right now. And I, I thank you for being on. And I know you wanted to tell your story. So tell me, you know, what happened? What led up to this positive test? Um, just honestly, or just I want to take responsibility for my actions. I know what I did. I know what I'm supposed to do. Um, no, no, I'm, I'm allowed not to do. And I still made that decision. But, um, not making an excuse or looking for any empathy in my case, but just however, being in that position of my life, finding out something like that, something that I would say is probably one of the biggest things that have impacted me positively and negatively in my life when it comes to dealing with the relationship I have with my mother. So that definitely was a very heavy topic on me and people don't understand what it's like to have to People do. We all have our different struggles. We all have our different things we deal with. But to put on a face, I have to go in front of the world and put on a face and hide my pain. Um, like, who? I don't know. Who are you? Or who am I to tell you how to cope when you're dealing with a pain or you're dealing with a struggle that you've never experienced before or that you've never thought you would? have to deal with. Like, who am I to tell you how to cope? Who am I to tell you that you're wrong for hurting? So I think just honestly, just leading up to that, dealing with my mental health, dealing my, with my mental as is with leading up to the games. Um, every time stepping on the track, definitely expect it to be um, a record-breaking time or something like that. So just with that, um, pressure in itself was also just another thing with this accident, my first full professional career, my first full professional um, circuit this year due to, you know, the pandemic. So just considering all of that, all of that put together in a long time with my agent, my sponsor, my, my sponsorship, my family, um, knowing we did all of this stuff. So, um, she can't, she can't. Mary, I, I just want people to understand where you're coming from um, and tell me if, if this is correct, but you, it was a few days before your big race and the trials, you found out that your biological mother had passed away. Um, you found out when a reporter told you, and it was after that that um, 
you it ingested some kind of marijuana. I should mention, you were in Oregon. It's legal in Oregon. You didn't violate any law, but it was against the rules of your sport. And as you said, you knew that. But is, is that what happened? Is that how this unfolded? Honestly, um, yes, that is the story. I had an interview scheduled with my agent. I knew I was having an interview. I knew um, going to the interview. Like, even, I was just thinking, oh, being on a normal interview, and then on the interview to hear that information come from a complete stranger, I was definitely triggering. It was definitely nerve-shocking because it's just like, how are you to tell me that? Like, you know, it's like, and not, it's no offense against him at all. He's just doing um, his job. But definitely that sent me in a state of mind, in a state of, of emotional panic. All right, that was her speaking on, on that, man. And, um... You know, that, that's why it's very important for you to actually hear the voice and not read the manuscript, hear the pain, hear the... And then she was just, she wasn't comfortable on camera. She stood up doing the interview and she was kind of doing this. And, you know, public speaking ain't everybody's strong suit, all right? Um, but to hear the story of how, you know, she found her biological... She's, she sounds like she's already, you know, an orphan or she got a, she got adopted, so... You know, dealing with people that's been adopted or that been orphaned or that was in a group home or, you know, you could never understand. You are already behind the eight ball. You know, why is my mo your mother? That's a big. I think people in the in our community, the black community, I think we can deal with the father not being there. Okay, I think you know it's been uh, it's a template that you know fuck him. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it shouldn't be that way, right? And we got a lot of great fathers stepping up in this generation. Um, but um, it shouldn't be like that, okay? Uh, I know people who had the same relationship I had with my father, and that's a strong one, or a new, you know, whatever it may be. But you know a lot of people who didn't have a relationship with, you know, your mother. Like, your mother didn't want me. And, you know, if she died, and you've seen people that lost, lost, lost their mother through death, it's, they never just right. You know, you lose your, your mother, don't want you. She's still alive. Look at Kaepernick. You know, he won't even talk to his parents, and his, his uh, adopted mother trying to, Mother's trying to, for years, have been trying to mend that relationship. So, right then and there, you know, she got to overcome something. You know what I'm saying? And then to find out her biological mother died, I mean, from a reporter. I mean, I don't even need to speak on it no more. But, hey, man, let me know what you guys think. Um, hopefully, she's able to run. You know, you know, we'll see, man. But, hey, check out the current news. Don't forget me on uh, Twitter news playlist. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Reach out if you have a business question, inquire, respond, share video requests. If you want to chop it up, all my social media links there. Video requests, advertising for business, advertising business on the channel, just chop it up. My Twitter is in the description, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook group link there as well, too. If you want to make a financial donation, help the channel. Cash app, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way, to best way to donate to the channel. Thumb up the video, share the video. If you want to subscribe, like what you hear, subscribe. Peace.